Well, I'm going to really pump the gas on that. Not the brakes, but the gas. I'm going to put the pedal to the metal. I'm going to make a Halloween album and make sure that people understand that I make Halloween music. Fun. We start Halloween now. Dragon Con's our kickoff. So. Well, that's 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 quaint. <laughs> I'm teasing you. I'm teasing you because Halloween in, at the Lair of Voltaire officially starts in April, and that's true, really, because first of all, April is around halfway to Halloween, yeah. mm -hmm. so we will do halfway to Halloween episodes. I have a show called Gothic Homemaking. Oh, yeah. We might get to that. Um, and we, we'll do halfway to Halloween episodes. We do halfway to Halloween parties. There's a lot of Halloween-inspired things around April and May. Then we get into Summerween, and we absolutely will celebrate the Summerween, which is now a holiday, too. But in June, believe it or not, as somebody who reviews Halloween home decor, June is when it starts to come out in the stores. And a lot of people might find that horrifying almost as horrifying as hearing Christmas music in August. But we love it as, as people who wish it were Halloween all year long. Right. At Home is a chain that puts all their Halloween stuff out in June. By July, the Halloween offerings are in Home Goods and Home Sense. By late July, early August, they're at TJ Maxx, Ross, and uh, what's the other one? Mark. Marshalls, thank you. <laughs> and, you know, by the end of August, Michael's, Joanne's, and then by September, Pottery Barn. And at that point, everyone has put out their Halloween stuff. So for us, the Halloween season starts in April, and it is going full force until October 31st. And then we cry <laughs> and wonder when it can get started all over again. Do you want to take down your decorations, though? Like, how long do you have? We, we don't... <laughs> Well, at the Lair of Voltaire, we decorate the, the, so as you may know, I have a show called Gothic Homemaking. I was very, well, you know, I've been working on this show for about seven years. Um, it's a labor of love. It is a YouTube show. No one pays me to make it, and I probably spend more money on it than I will ever see, uh, you know, from it. But I was very, very lucky in that last October, the New York Times wrote a story about me in the show. And they referred to me as the Martha Stewart for Macabre Homemakers. And once they did that, there was suddenly a lot of eyes on the show and a lot of interest from people like Joanne and Michaels and you know, a lot of people who may not have noticed me before took notice. I signed a book deal with Quarto, and I'm releasing a gothic lifestyle Halloween decorating book, Halloween of 2024. Um, Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. So... If you watch the show, you'll know that I buy a lot of my home decor around Halloween, but our philosophy on the show is not to decorate for Halloween, but rather to use the excuse that that's when you can find all of this stuff to find the things that don't scream 